Hey YouTube, Andrew from Snakeworks. I want to make a quick video here talking about blood python behavior. Uh, this is my 2020 line bred female from Selective Origins. She's probably the jumpiest and most offensive animal I have, but that doesn't really mean that she's trying to hurt me. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of manipulate her a little bit here to get her to move. And I'm not gonna say much, I just want you to kind of guess and try to interpret it, interpret what this behavior is. And you see she's flicking her tongue, which is good. You know, she's she's just she's not really totally freaked out here. This is kind of like her baseline. On the move, not really looking to engage with me or anything like that, but take this water bowl out of here. She's making some noises. She's not striking or anything. This animal's never, this animal's never bit me. There you go. She's. Barely hissing at this point. Here, girl. Yeah. So, some of the movements we saw at the beginning of the video where she moves quickly like that. There you go. Like, if if she does that and you're holding her and you react, like, you know, if you drop this animal or, or if you get scared, like, you know, they're, they're going to react and turn. <laughs> Even my hand flinches when I see something like that sometimes. You know, she doesn't mean any harm. These are really nice animals. And I, and I think a lot of creating a nice blood python comes down to the correct husbandry. You know, you gotta, you gotta have your temps and your humidity and also, you know, a nice cover for them to hide under like the, like the floor of the, uh, the forest floor. And then just a little bit uh, of interaction throughout the day. Like I kind of just stick my hand in here and just pet her a little bit every now and then. And that lets her know that like, you know, when that tub opens, uh, nothing bad's gonna happen. It's either food or it's just me who might be slightly annoying to her. Well, now she's just getting freaked out because of my paper movements. That's a nice animal. Yeah. Most of my other blood pythons are a lot more chill. Let me get some of those. Yeah. All right, well, you get the idea. Like, just because blood pythons are moving around or just Huffing and puffing doesn't mean that they're gonna bite you. As long as you're just calm around them, they'll probably be chill to you. All right, well, I think I'm done annoying this girl for now. I'm gonna set this camera down because I don't wanna have to pick her up with one hand and try to get her put away. <laughs> That's a good one for you. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope I hope you understand blood pythons a little bit more.